Hi everyone, it's Elsie here. So this next episode that you're about to hear is Art Attack. Um, it was recorded months ago. There's some dated references in there. Uh, we talk about some rail strikes that happened about 28 rail strikes ago. It's completely irrelevant information. But basically, um, we wanted to do Art Attack and halfway through, we sort of decided that there wasn't enough content to constitute a full episode. So we shelved it. We went on to MI High or whatever it was we did next. And now we're going to put it out for you to hear because we're going on a summer break. So we've we've still got material that we need to put out into the world, but we're we're sort of going away for a month and then coming back. But in the meantime, um here is some art attack content for you. Um it's bear in mind it's not our best um audio quality because this was a long time ago. It was um baby Elsie and Meg um just trying trying to work it out, you know. So bear with us. But if you were a fan of Art Attack, and who wasn't, there is going to be something in there for you. So enjoy. More news. When we come back, we might just have a new host. Well, not a new host, but um, a third host. It's Laura. I'm not going to keep you in suspense. You've heard her before, and we cannot wait to have her back. So yeah, um, a lot of changes being made. Another change is that we have been doing mostly 90s and 2000s. Um, TV shows, but for a long time I've wanted to go back further to like the 60s and the 70s. Um, especially we have wanted for a long time to cover Rainbow because Rainbow is collectively mine and Meg's favourite piece of media, probably. So um, it's been a long time coming. We've wanted to do Rainbow for ages. So that is what we're going to come back with in a month's time. But don't worry, we are still going to carry on um, covering the era that we have been covering. But yeah, we're going to sort of um, branch out a little bit. So yeah, lots of exciting changes being made. I hope you enjoy this um, Art Attack mini episode and we will see you in a month. Bye. So art attack. Art attack. How did we get here? Um, I mean, we. I'll make. I could make something up, or we could be very, very honest about how we got here. Yeah. You. Yeah. You tell us. Um. Well, simply we were going to do something else and didn't have time this week. And that has <laughs> happened more than a few times yes. that we've thought about doing something and I've not had time to research it because I. We were going to do MI High, but I just think MI High deserves more than one day of research. Yeah, we we got, it needs we got that this week, have we? So No, Art Attack is a very easy one to talk yeah. about. <laughs> so here we are. This is an Art Attack. This is an Art Attack. This is Art Attack. <laughs> What are your opening thoughts? Um, head. Right, same. Head, innit? That's what I That's think. That's what I remember. Did you enjoy the head? Um, Weird, innit? Yeah. Constantine the Great, it's modelled on. <laughs> <laughs> it's modelled on Constantine the Great. Good, Ed. Yet, yeah, we get it. Everyone gets it. Everyone here understands you can't the joke. Ask me to go on some tangents and then have a go at me when I do. I was scared of the head. You were scared of the head. I was. How long did it take you to get over the head? I, I found I'm still not over it. <laughs> like I was watching it last night and I was like nervous to scroll to the bits with the head in it, but I had to remind myself. Yeah. And I don't like it. I don't like the way it moves. It's an interesting choice for that show. I find it very scary. And that show is, you know, aimed towards kids as young as, like, what, three or four? Yeah. Like, yeah. Try it yourself. Your own dream island. Hello! It's the head. Now, they are brilliant. And if you want to create one, just draw a rough island shape onto a piece of car. Dip scrunched up balls of 
glue roll or newspaper into PVA glue and stick them onto the card to build up your island. Glue a layer of tissue over these and push in your nooks and crannies, mountains and beaches. <laughs> right. The head was a puppet stone bust based on Constantine the Great who would humorously recap the steps needed to produce the last piece of art. Um, so yeah, he was like con the continuity announcer, I guess. Um, terrifying, but he was replaced um, in reboots of the show right. by... Uh, I don't know if it was a puppet or an animation. You know when you sometimes can't quite tell? Yes. By a palm I know what tree you mean. Yeah. called... Vincent Van Coconut, which isn't even a pun. That is just shit. I don't know. I mean, no. it's making a reference to an artist, but it's a palm tree. And they're calling it Vincent Van Coconut. Hello, I'm Vincent Van Coconut, the strongest coconut tree on my island. Let's watch again how to make a powerful fist on the coconut TV. Have a plastic bottle cut in half and stick a large ball of newspaper on its base. Now that I know how to build powerful fists, I'm going to become a great coconut tree superhero. I will roam the islands creating gigantic pieces of art with all the reusable leftovers I can find. Do you want to join me? Let's combine our powers to make the world a cleaner place! I was, like. I was always more of a... Well, I was a CBBC child, so obvi obviously I was I was more of a smart child Me than an too. artifact child. Me too. Yeah, smart was, smart was really smart good. Smart was well good, it was. Should we just... Should we change it right now? No. Just, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smart was well good. Uh, Art Attack was like... Well, that was CITB. Yes, and yeah. I wasn't really a CITB child. No, I wasn't. Because I'm not an ITV adult. No, well, you say that, Meg, but... I know that Love Island is on ITV. There's lots of really good shit on ITV. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to use this now to tell ITV to fucking sort ITVX out. As I've realised in their advertising for this new um, streaming service that they've got, they call it UK's freshest streaming service. Not UK's best streaming service. What they're essentially freshest. saying is ITV, ITVX is the UK's newest and most prone to mistakes yeah. streaming service because it's because shit is awful. Only because they've rebranded. Like, what does X even mean? I've no and idea. And Channel 4 is the one that has fresh, everything about my life is blessed. Or <laughs> the cause light. Everything thing. in my life right now blessed. <laughs> Working so hard, no time, time for rest. rest. <laughs> <laughs> we watch a lot of Channel 4 comedy. <laughs> and comedy yet, on Channel 4. Yet, it hasn't made me start drinking cause. I don't think I've ever had a cause in my life. I don't think I have. I imagine it tastes like most lagers. I imagine it tastes fresh. I'm always impressed at the bloke swimming through snow. Well, yeah, because you can't do it. You can't do you it. You can't do it, yeah. but he manages How it. How do they achieve that? Having a cause, isn't it? Ah, hello there. Good to see you again. Hey, what do you think of sculpture? Well, stuff it, I say. Hey, no, I'm not being rude. I mean, stuff it. Like this. Stuffed sculpture. Look at that. Looks brilliant hanging on walls or just simply <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> and they're very easy to make. Come and have a look at this. Take a double page spread from a big newspaper and just draw your sculpture design onto it. Now you can do any design you like, a person, an animal. I'm going to do the lion, put the mane like that, and just do the basic design at this stage. You don't need too much detail in. So this is how the Wikipedia entry opens. Art Attack is a British children's television programme revolving around art. <laughs> Sorry, listener, she's just trying to get some painkillers down her neck. She's done her back in. Say what you see. <laughs> yeah. Um, originally hosted by Neil Buchanan. Oh, most, yeah, Neil Buchanan. Most of this episode will be focused on I, Neil Buchanan. I think Buchanan is an absolutely elite surname. Oh, no, it is, I though. love it. It really is. Which was my surname. So he wasn't just the presenter. He also came up with the idea and produced it. Oh, so he did everything. Yeah. Oh. Well, him and a guy called Tim Edmonds, who does not have um, a hyperlink for me to learn more about him. Oh, sorry, Tim. It started... Uh, in 1990, 
Um, so the well, the original program, the Neil that started Buchanan, a lot earlier than I thought. No, yeah, it went on for ages, and it went. I thought this was like exclusively sort of our no. generation, like the ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousands kids, really. Yeah, no, that's what it's I all, thought. It's, it's an entire nineties kids it's, situation. It really is. It's nineteen ninety to two thousand and seven. Bloody so hell, a that is a long lot time. longer than I. Well, that was Neil Buchanan's era. It has been rebooted a bunch of times. Well, t- twice with. Um, two other presenters. And yet the only one I know is Neil Buchanan. And something I found out yesterday, every pretty much every region has one. What do you mean? You can watch an American one with an American presenter. Oh. Which is It's a simple format though, isn't it? Yeah, it's for like sure, it's easy, yeah. easily recreatable. Very easily recreatable. And it's not one that is gonna be it is not one that's gonna suffer from being in a different region. Like I guess something so suffer you just like for example, I tried to watch the American version of The Traitors and I hated it. Yeah. I hated it. But there's no reason why that shouldn't have worked either, right? Um, is it Alan Cummings? Alan Cummings, yeah. yeah. They, they, they Scottishified him and he's already Scottish. Right. So they, they upped the Scottish. Uh-huh. And For then the American everyone, audience. everyone on the show is insufferable. And the way that he says dollars is the way that mm. Moira Rose would say <laughs> dollars. So dollars, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That is exactly how he says it. Oh, exactly right. like okay. that. And once I noticed it, I turned it off because it okay. really irritates. It should have worked the with Alan fucking Cummings. Life out of me. Everyone likes Alan Cummings. Yeah, I thought Claudia did a better job, and I like yeah. her less. I, I like her. Far less than Alan <laughs> Cummings, but yeah. So yes, um, in a lot of the other um, regions, they've got the presenter, but for the sequences where he's showing you how to sketch certain things, they have they've got the footage from the UK one. So it's Neil Buchanan's hands. So <laughs> <laughs> they just they just replaced the presenter for no apparent reason. You could have just aired the British one. On you American could have TV. done with like, well, it's not just American. It's like. All over, there are lots of different languages. Okay, yeah, but I don't in. see the point in recreating it in again in English if yeah, I you're know. just going to use the same. But I think that about basically every American remake, though. What? Well, why have you done that? Why? Why have you done that when, it, like, Americans aren't idiots? Like, if there's a Britishism that they don't understand, they'll go- get on with watching it the same way that, like, I've never been to Trader Joe's. But I can easily watch an American sitcom. What, that like the reason it? that the American in between has flopped wasn't because the Brit just because the British people watching the American version thought it was shit. The American people watching the American version also thought it was yeah, shit. Yeah, it was like truly dreadful. It was awful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that he's actually probably hands down one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. It's a really bad piece of media. Yeah, yeah. misjudged on every. And I'm, I'm sorry to everybody who was involved in it. Yeah, yeah. You watch the, you watch it. You feel bad for them. Yeah. If you haven't noticed already. All you need to make this clever little figure is an empty matchstick box, like this one. Let's see how it's done. Taking the interior of the matchstick box, draw in the figure's upper body. Give him some shorts. Design a fun pair of shorts for our figure by putting some spots on it. Now paint the entire body area with pink. His inner shorts will be orange. Once the paint is dry, shadow with crayon to give the drawing a better finish. Place the outer matchstick box on a sheet of white art paper. Trace its outline. But what, I just want to jump straight into the the life and times of Neil Buchanan. Okay. Because um, it's less dry and, you know... We're only 10 minutes into this. <laughs> um, so he was in a band. Was he? Yes. What band? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to ask you. One second. Okay.
She called me on the phone and said, I come straight away. Well, I arrived at her mansion house, and then she opened the door. She took me into this great big room and threw herself on the floor. Make me feel like a woman, she said. We got the rest of the day. I've sent all the servants out. My husband's gone away. Marseille. Marseille. So, yeah, the band name that you've just asked me to pronounce is a very well-known place in France. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Mar- Marseille. <laughs> he was in the original lineup for Marseille. He was in... You did a really good job. Thank you. I feel like I'm floundering this episode, no, to be you're honest. Fine. Oh, thank you. Do you believe that? Yeah. Thank I you. In fact, I think you should stop bringing it up. Oh, right. Yeah, no, you know. okay. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, but you're boring the dear listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you take the lead for a second. Well, uh, no, give me actually, you don't... Yeah, no. <laughs> I spent all night research. I listened to their entire first album so that I but could talk about it. But you couldn't Google how to say that word. <laughs> well, I didn't want Google to think I was stupid. Well. So Marseille <laughs> was uh, part of the new wave of heavy British metal, which is a whole, which is a genre. Amazing that I've never heard of them. Well, I've heard of the place. I know what Marseille is. Yeah. So they were part of this new wave of British heavy metal, commonly abbreviated as NWOBHM, which I think is an unse- unsuccessful... New wave of British heavy metal. Yeah, yeah. it's an unsuccessful abbreviation. Well, yeah, because only the uh, abbreviations are only successful if you can say them as a word. It, right, yeah. Like NIMBY. NIMBY. What's that? Not in my backyard. It's people who don't, it's people who don't like <laughs> telephone masks and um, like wind turbines oh, and that sort of thing. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So they formed in 1976 in Liverpool and... Oh, me. How old is Neil Buchanan? He's in his 60s. Gee. Jesus Christ. Well, how, old, not... how old do you think he looked when he was doing Art Attack in 2000? 30. Yeah, they were from Liverpool, and you can you can hear the Liverpool accent when he's presenting, which I didn't notice until I rewatched it yesterday. I didn't hear. Have I ever told you that I couldn't hear accents as a kid? No, I don't know if it's an it's if it's um, that's interesting. Like all the things that all children can't hear, or like because you're just hearing the words, you're not hearing the word the way that words are said. Uh-huh. But I do have a vivid memory of. I don't remember exactly how it went, but we were watching The Simpsons and being explained to that The Simpsons weren't English, they were American. And me saying that, in my child opinion, (laughs) they sounded the same. I couldn't couldn't tell that they had an accent. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, I guess if you're not aware of accents, then how are you going to hear them? How are you going to hear it? Yeah. So, So, yeah, they won the the very first UK Battle of the Bands. Okay. I don't really know what that is. Eurovision tickets went on sale today. Oh, did they? Yeah, I didn't get one. Oh, that's in Liverpool, isn't it? And the resale, they're all already at resale of like 400 quid. I imagine they probably weren't actually that much cheaper than that, but... Yeah. And apparently there's due to be rail strikes or like... Maybe not rail strikes. I don't remember what the news said. It was like rail um, maintenance works or something on that line of tra- like that um rail line at the same week of Eurovision. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah. Wow. Isn't it just like surreal that it's happening in the UK at all? Yeah. Like, isn't that just so weird? Like, do you know what? We we should do that. Eurovision week when people want to be here. That's who homophobic. Want to go away. <laughs> <laughs> it is homophobic. She asked if she should take a chance. Talking of homophobic, um, my boyfriend had a haircut today and he <laughs> told me that he dropped his chewing gum and his hairdresser said to him, you drop your gay card. <laughs> what? What you does know, that mean? It means it's one of those, it's, it's, if you say, if you say it and you expect somebody to turn, to say, to turn around and look for something, you meant to, you know, when you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but, but yeah. You, you say it illegibly. Sure. And they sure, turn sure, around sure, to look sure. for something proving that they had a gay card yeah. to drop. Yeah. So my boyfriend's being bullied by his hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, he had, he had actually dropped something. It wasn't his gay card though. No. Was... That was firmly in his wallet. <laughs> So, yeah, they're called Marseille because they, uh, because it's like a port town that's sort of run down. Yeah. Um, and that's what Liverpool is. But I, I don't see any reason why they couldn't have called themselves Liverpool. That's a bit perfectly... on the nose, really, isn't it? Well, I guess, I guess it is. But, uh, maybe um... they were trying because, well, I can only name one band from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that, Meg? Well, it's the Beatles, <laughs> Yeah, they won't let us forget. They've got um, an airport called John Lennon. Well, what else would you call that airport? I don't know. Who are some Liverpool's like Silla Black? Yeah, Liverpool's <laughs> Silla Black Airport. <laughs> I don't see why not. She was a singer. Is she dead? Yeah. So they weren't always called Marseille. Okay. Um, they changed their name uh, a little while into their existence because a band from Australia with the same name was getting quite popular. And that band... (laughs) That band was (laughs) ACDC. They actually used to be called ACDC. Is that a battery reference? Yes, it's a something conductor direct... I don't know, but it is, yeah. So I guess it's not that weird, because it's like an actual abbreviation okay. <laughs> but yeah they were called acdc and their first album was called red white and slightly blue and that's the okay. <laughs> they just made a face <laughs> i just think it's um a shit name okay of all the album titles available to you which is um anything yeah well their second <laughs> album was called marseille <laughs> <laughs> so you know but yeah, I listened to that first album. It was all right. It was, it was really good. And they have a they have a song on it um, called "Not Tonight, Josephine." I think it's funny that Neil Buchanan's career path went from being in a heavy metal rock band to presenting kids TV. It's so funny. It is. It's so funny. Um, Have you seen a picture of him from that time? No. Have a look. Fuck me. Look at him. Yeah, I know. I know. It's weird, isn't it? It it is weird because that is definitely the same man. It's the same, yeah, it's the same man. He is visibly the same. Yeah. Wow. And what I like about his look in Art Attack is that not a lot of presenters wear a cute little jumper with the logo of their show on it. Like, they made him wear a uniform. Most presenters just wear clothes. Okay, so he's still... So 2023, Neil Buchanan looks basically the same. 
He's 66 now. He's 66? Okay. He looks good. Draw a letter T leaning over at an angle. Then a slightly smaller one above it and a smaller one below it. And it's a good idea to draw them lightly at first as these letter T's will be the skeleton shape to draw your pteranodon on. On the big T, just draw a long body with a pointy tail at the end. The top of the T is its arms with bony claws. And the top of the bottom T is its legs with clawed feet. The top T is a curved neck. The head is a flat egg shape, a sort of rugby ball shape. Yeah, he doesn't look bad for 66. No, he looks all right. He doesn't look 66. No. He looks more like he should be in a heavy metal band now than he looks like he should. He looks like he should be judging a talent contest or something. Yeah, there's something a little bit sort of... Simon Cowell about Simon Cowell, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Who, by the way, and I don't think he's going to be listening to this, so I think I can say it, doesn't look good for his age. I don't understand the... Um, plastic surgery that he's had because I was under the impression that the point of plastic surgery was that you come out the other end looking better than you did. His teeth scare me. His face scares me. He he actually scares, He looks like he shouldn't be allowed near an open flame. No. But not because he'd catch on fire, because he'd melt. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that was what I was implying. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then it's not even an open flame, is it? It's any hot. Hot thing. <laughs> you should just should have been let, let near hot, you know? Don't you can't, leave, you can't go abroad. Don't leave your Simon Cowells in hot cars. Crack a window open. <laughs> um, so let's talk about how Art Attack uh, came into existence. Um, he used to present... So he, he didn't go straight from being in Marseille to Art Attack. Okay. He went from Marseille to other children's entertainment and then... Art attack. Okay. And one of the things he presented in the 80s was a TV show called 73. And 73 was presented by him, a bunch of other actors, and Sandy Totsvig. Right. And it was one of those like morning shows that was like, you've got some cartoons, you've got some like comedy bits. You've got competitions. You've got okay. it's like you know those like shows on a Saturday morning that were basically like magazine shows for kids, and they were just sprawling and kind of had everything. Mm-hmm. It was one of those. Hello, hello. In the call box. The call box. Yeah. Who's that? Hello. I think it must be the Invisible Man. They're not shy, are they? Come on. Hello. Who's that? We haven't got anyone. Hello. Talk to me. It must be in the phone box. You obviously haven't... Is this thing working, mate, or what? Um, got I, right, I hope so. You've you got to put it on the right button, don't you? This modern technology, you know. Have we got anyone there yet? Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we do a bit of old-fashioned stuff and go to the other phone and try it, yeah? Yeah, well, all right. right. Not, yeah. Put this modern technology away and go to the good old Bugs Bunny phone. Hello? Mates and six double O, treble O. Have we got anyone yet? <laughs> we still haven't got any. I know what, I'll try that phone and you can try this phone. All right, you try that phone, I'll try this phone. <laughs> Nate and six double O treble O. Is this an anonymous phone call? No, no. but I can hear you down there. Someone. No. Great. <laughs> Hello, mate. Bit late, but nevertheless, it's good to hear from you. Who's that? Nicholas Spence. Uh, who is it? Nicholas Spence. Nicholas, where are you from, Nicholas? Willie B. W- where's that? Say that again, Nicholas from... Whitley Bay. Whitley, oh, Whitley Bay. Just hang on a sec. Harry, it's Nicholas from Whitley Bay. From Whitley well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, Nicholas. And there was like a storyline going through each series because, and like a lot of it was improvised also right. by the presenters who were also playing characters. Um, so they all lived in this house that was 73. Mm-hmm. And there was a section in that show um, that was basically Art Attack that was just like an art section in like in every episode and it was popular and he was like let's give it a full show all right kids how's junction three going all right getting in getting in a bit of a mess yeah. oh it looks all right all you've got to do is cut that along a straight line there along the seam and how's the taping going well you don't need all that tape for a start do you where did you get this idea from neil i found these model cars in the cellar mm. and between us lot i think the freds <laughs> <laughs> 
So I thought to myself, rather than going out and buying one of those dead expensive roadways, you know the ones with all the yeah. loops and everything, yeah. why don't I make one myself? Mm. So I did. The M73, 80 foot long, didn't cost me a penny to make. What? Not, Not a, a penny. penny. Not a penny, cos I made them washing up liquid bottles. Where'd you get all the bottles from? Well, they're empty, of course. Yeah. I asked Ethel to sa uh, save me all their old washing up liquid bottles and everyone else in the street, and they've been leaving them outside the front door with the milk bottles. Come on, then. Show us how to make it. Mm. All right. Well, obviously, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to wash out the bottles just to mm. get rid of all the guns, you know. Then you put the bottle on its side and you cut the ends off. Now, I'm going to cut the end off this bottle with one of these really sharp craft knives. So you've got to watch out with your fingers. This is a really, really nerdy fact, but in our Pingu episode, we spoke about Hit Entertainment and how it's like a Hollywood studio of... Yeah. It's like the king of children's TV producers. They are the worldwide distributor of Art Attack. So that's another... A second mention for Hit Entertainment. Oh, my God. It's... I don't. I don't know if I wanted to talk about the producers quite. It's just. It's just getting very technical and nerdy. I don't know if anyone's interested. I'll just, we'll just keep I'm, going. I'm quite interested to be honest yeah. with you. Oh, so. that's, it's, it's really nice of you to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm quite interested to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I've been scrolling through Instagram for the last forty-five minutes. Anything so. good on there? No. No. Oh, really? Nothing. Okay. Nothing better than the producers of Heart Attack Elves. Oh, uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Disney also has the rights to Art Attack. I know, I know. They, literally, there's nowhere... Grumble, that, grumble. <laughs> grumble, grumble. There's nothing that they won't... It's nothing sacred. Another fact I deeply, deeply enjoy about Neil Buchanan is that he is among the group of people that is suspected to be Banksy. Is he? He is. He's yeah. not Banksy, though. No, he's not. Um, well, he says he's not. That's the information I that we've got. He's not. Right. It was. It was just like trending on Twitter and Reddit for a little bit. Oh, you really? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Well, I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> It'll just be between us. I do actually have an A level in art, so I feel like I'm mm. quite qualified to. To comment on Neil Buchanan's abilities. Well, shall we do that then? Shit, I think he's shit. Oh, come on. Have you ever tried to make a massive horse out of clothes in a field? No. Have you ever tried to make a cat sitting on a wall out of salt? Why did he do that? Salt? <laughs> it's salt. <laughs> Have you ever tried to make a, a bodybuilder out of gym equipment in a big hall? I don't understand his choice of materials. Because they're to do with the image that he's creating. Yeah, loser. There was one What's time... What's wrong with a pencil? <laughs> <laughs> because the rest of the show is in pencil. He's got to <laughs> shake it up. Yeah, they were called... That section was called Big Art Attack. Yeah. Which, deeply uninspired. It's like calling your album Marseille. <laughs> <laughs> he's never been very good at naming things. Well, he Has named the show. I, I don't know if he has. I don't think he does. I spent a lot of time on his Wikipedia page the other night. Do you think that's why he doesn't have kids? Because he just can't really name things. Because it's like the bare minimum requirement, isn't it? Like, give him a name. While we're on the topic of big art attacks, I do have a little list. Well, not a little list. I have a list of every big art attack that there has been. Okay. And the material that he used. How and many episodes of this were there? Over the span of 17 years. Oof. Um, I don't know, but there was about eight VHS specials. That's not, not the that's question you asked. Yeah, question. sorry. <laughs> a lot. There was a lot. There was about, no, 303. Or at least of his era, there was I've that many. I've just been comparing every runtime of every show that we've done to the Tweeny. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because that had fucking lows in it, like 280 or something oh sure over yeah, the course yeah, yeah. of what like four years <laughs> yeah so many episodes yeah. come outside shockingly only had 40 episodes incredible that's insane felt, to me felt like more <laughs> yeah it did it felt yeah. like more so here we go the first one that he ever did was a dog made out of loo paper 
And I would never choose to say loo paper. I would say toilet paper or loo roll. But this article has said loo paper. So that's what I'm saying. I don't like it, but it's what we've got. Okay. Um, He made Batman out of bin liners. I think that's quite appropriate. Okay. He made a, a tiger's face out of brown rice. Okay. Um, and he I made... don't like brown rice. Don't rate it. No, well, it's, it takes a long time to cook. Elsie's been going through this... Um phase of um spelt pasta and it's fucking disgusting i think it's nice um rhino out of rhino manure which like if you did to a human would be like really dark i think what human out of human manure? yeah and really just offensive Resourceful. yeah um he made the queen out of two hundred and fifty thousand pounds in banknotes and a zebra out of salt okay and a spider out of hair. Uh. Where is he getting? <laughs> Neil, where are you sourcing this hair? <laughs> uh, do you think it's his own hair or like the no. hair of a relative? Because I wouldn't want to make, I wouldn't want to touch someone else's the hair of pile relative. of hair. Well, it might, it might not have been real hair. It might have been synthetic hair, but. I don't I don't like that. Um so in series four, episode one, he made Neil's shopping out of Neil's own shopping. Fuck off. That's, yeah, I don't know. What else? Cow out of milk bottles, that's really cute, I think. At least it wasn't cow out of cow shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's been done before, so <laughs> But with, where are you getting that much rhino it, it, shit? It just, the whole series is just rhino out of rhino <laughs> shit. Cat out of cat right. shit. Cat out of rhino <laughs> shit. Horse out of rhino <laughs> shit. Bear out of <laughs> rhino shit. Train out of rhino <laughs> shit. <laughs> starting to think that Neil's got a rhino. Kite out <laughs> of rhino <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, this I like this one. Neil's self-portrait out of art attack jumpers. Neil's self-portrait out of rhino shit. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if someone did a portrait of you out of, like, clothes that you wore... Like, how did you get into my house? Well, yeah, but that is quite... It's a really nice idea. I mean, obviously, that's just, like, one type of shirt. Yeah, it's just it's, that it's same red rugby jumper, jumper yeah. with art attack on it. Red... He wore that for 17 years. Yep. <laughs> How many do you think there were in oh, the CITV two. offices? Two. <laughs> <laughs> they're, clearly, they're so low on budget, they're making him make things out of rhino shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, he made Dracula out of garlic powder, which I actually think is quite offensive. You, you can't. It can't be offensive because Dracula isn't real. Yeah, but if he was... Yeah, but would... he's not. Yeah, he's but not, if he he's was, yeah, but closed. if he was, it would be like the same as making like a human out of asbestos, <laughs> like something that will just kill <laughs> something them. that kills them. <laughs> Actually, Dracula is not allergic to garlic; he just hates it, right? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what the law is around something that yeah, isn't real. This one's really random. Penguins out of poppy seeds and lentils. It's got nothing to do with penguins. Anyway, I'm bored of reading about big art attacks Penguins now. Penguins out of rhino shit. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with penguins. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with penguins. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> now hey, now hey. <laughs> hey. All right, where, where are we? So you've got this new album out, Unfinished Business. Um, tell us a bit about that. Uh, how many tracks is on it and how long's the album and how much is it? Can you buy it? Where can you get it from? Uh, there's yeah. ten tracks on it. Yeah, you, you can come to the gigs and get it. We sell it at the gigs. Now, it's, it's everywhere in all the outlets, Amazon, HMV, online, iTunes, all the usual downloads. It's, it's there, it's out, it's, um, it's doing real good. It's, uh, and it's, it's an album, it's called Unfinished Business, and that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. We're back after, was it about a 20-year 20 20 layoff? Um, and um, it's, it's Unfinished Business, and, and, and the reviews have been fantastic, so, so we're well chuffed. And that is all we had <laughs> for, for Art Attack. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to say um, a huge thank you from me and Meg for listening, because when we started doing this, we didn't know if anyone would. We were just doing it for fun. So the fact that um, a lot of you regularly listen and comment and email and like our posts, it all means 
a huge amount. So thank you very much and we will see you in a month. Have a beautiful summer, everyone. Bye.